Today we have Tropical Storm and Nicholas was just named here on a Sunday moving off towards the north about 20 kilometers per hour winds estimated to be about 95 to 100 kilometers per hour here as pressure is down to 1000 millibars big thing with this one um, you know there is the potential for some strong winds out of it but I think the bigger threat of course is going to be the heavy rainfall as this comes on shore basically uh, stretching from Corpus Christi all the way up here along Louisiana and even over towards Mississippi. Mississippi and Alabama as it moves towards the north, gradually weakening out as it does so. Let's actually just take a quick look at the forecast here from the National Hurricane Center. You kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about as it pulls towards the north. Winds right there at about 110 kilometers per hour. You see this moves ahead all the way down to 55 and then by 35 becoming a tropical depression by the times it moves over towards uh, north of New Orleans. So if you're out here in New Orleans and you're thinking, oh goodness, uh, we're still recovering from Ida. Uh, biggest issue with this one is still going to be the rainfall, but not so much the damaging winds at the very least. Actually, anywhere in red indicates over 50 millimeters. So a few inches of precipitation with that cold still flooding uh, in the forecast. Just taking a look from the official forecast with the National Hurricane Center. Uh, the areas in blue here, that is those tropical storm warnings that are in place, stretching all the way back from uh, the Corpus Christi area all along the test Texas coastline as the storm system comes on shore like that shows becoming a minor tropical depression. Eventually that moisture will shift towards the east too, so it could even increase the uh, threat of rainfall across parts of uh, Florida, even over towards Georgia and Alabama as well. Anyways, quick update on tropical storms.